Place your knees hip width apart with your big toes touching. Lift and bend your chest to your knees and head to the floor. Slide your hands in front of you. Make this an active stretch by activating your fingers, palms up, elbows off the floor, and sliding your shoulder blades onto your back. With each breath, you should fall more deeply into the stretch. Hold the pose for 5 to 10 deep breaths. Lie on the floor, legs extended. Bend the right knee, drawing the thigh into your torso. Press the front of the left thigh heavily to the floor. Straighten the knee, pressing the right heel toward the ceiling. Then, lower the right leg out to the right and hold it a few inches off the floor. Hold the vertical position one to three minutes and the side position for equal time. Return the leg to vertical and slowly lower it to the ground. Lie on the floor, legs extended. Bend the left knee, drawing the thigh into your torso. Press the front of the right thigh heavily to the floor. Straighten the knee, pressing the left heel toward the ceiling. Then, lower the left leg out to the left and hold it a few inches off the floor. Hold the vertical position one to three minutes and the side position for equal time. Return the leg to vertical and slowly lower it to the ground. Come into the table pose with your knees under your hips and your hands under your shoulders, the spine in neutral, parallel to the floor. As you inhale, curve your spine, bringing your tailbone upwards and looking up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, hunch your spine, bringing your spine towards the ceiling. Slowly and deliberately continue the movement back and forth in tune with your breath. Continue for one to two minutes. Come to your hands and knees with the wrists under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. Push back, raising the hips and straightening the legs. Ground down into the fingertips. Let the head hang and move the shoulder blades onto the back. Rotate the thighs inward. Keep the tail high and sink your heels towards the floor. Pedal your feet by bending one knee and straightening out the other leg. Repeat several times to warm up the hamstrings. When ready, push both heels to the floor or keep knees slightly bent.
start in the downward dog. Then inhale and draw your torso forward until the arms are perpendicular to the floor and the shoulders directly over the wrists. Torso parallel to the floor. Press your outer arms inward and firm the bases of your index fingers into the floor. Lower your knees to the ground. Lift the base of the skull away from the back of the neck and look straight down at the floor, keeping the throat and eyes soft. Hold for five breaths. Start in the downward dog. Then inhale and draw your torso forward until the shoulders are directly over the wrists, torso parallel to the floor. Press your outer arms inward and firm your fingers into the floor. Press your front thighs up toward the ceiling, but resist your tailbone toward the floor as you lengthen it toward your heels. Lift the base of the skull away from the back of the neck and look straight down at the floor, keeping the throat and eyes soft. Hold for five breaths. From the plank position, bend the arms straight back, keeping the upper arms hugging into your sides. Lower down toward the floor. Keep the whole body very level. Lower your body to the floor. For beginners, drop your knees to the floor until you build enough strength to support the body with the arms. Lie on the floor. Stretch your legs back, tops of the feet on the floor. Spread your hands on the floor under your shoulders. Hug the elbows into your body. Inhale and begin to straighten the arms to lift the chest off the floor, going only to a comfortable height. Firm the shoulder blades against the back, puffing the side ribs forward. Lift through the top of the sternum. Distribute the back bend evenly throughout the entire spine. Release back to the floor with an exhale. Link the movements Downward Dog, High Plank, chaturanga, and cobra together in a flowing movement. A beginner's flow may be repeated in between any of the standing poses for added effort to your practice. Link the movements Downward Dog, High Plank, Chaturanga, and Cobra together. The beginner's flow may be repeated in between any of the standing poses for added effort to your practice. From Downward Dog, exhale and step your left foot forward between your hands, aligning the left knee over the heel. For beginners, lower your right knee to the floor and keeping the left knee fixed in place. Slide the right leg back until you feel a comfortable stretch in the right front thigh and groin. Hold for a minute and step back to the Downward Dog. From Downward Dog, exhale and step your right foot forward between your hands, aligning the right knee over the heel. For beginners, lower your left knee to the floor and keeping the right knee fixed in place. Slide the left leg back until you feel a comfortable stretch in the left front thigh and groin. Hold for a minute and step back to the Downward Dog. From the Downward Dog, exhale and step your left foot forward between your hands, aligning the left knee over the heel. 
Lift your torso off your front thigh and lengthen it upward. To soften your left groin, imagine that the thigh is sinking toward the floor under your torso's weight. Look forward. Simultaneously, firm the right thigh and push it up toward the ceiling, holding the right knee straight. Exhale and step back to the downward dog. From downward dog, exhale and step your right foot forward between your hands, aligning the right knee over the heel. Lift your torso off your front thigh and lengthen it upward. To soften your right groin, imagine that the thigh is sinking toward the floor under your torso's weight. Look forward. Simultaneously, firm the left thigh and push it up toward the ceiling, holding the left knee straight. Exhale and step back to the downward dog. 